Hi, this is Elijah with the Oxygen Team. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the easiest and what we consider the best way to migrate your oxygen site from one environment to another. Now, first, it's important to note we do have full documentation on importing and exporting. If you wanna just copy oxygen settings, we do have those available to copy across sites. You can also copy individual page, post, and template designs by copying the short codes. And you can also use the built-in WordPress import export tools to move content across sites. And these techniques are handy if you want to move things kind of piecemeal. But the most common scenario is that you've built the site on a staging environment or a local environment and now want to push it to the live server. And for that, this video will walk you through the best plugin to use and the steps that are necessary to do that properly. So let me jump over here to my source site, which is just an oxygen site where I've installed the atomic design set from our library. And we'll do a quick scroll through so that we know what it's supposed to look like when it arrives at the target server. And let's assume we're now done with this site and we want to move it to a different environment. So let's jump back to the dashboard and we're going to need to add a new plugin. So we're going to go to plugins, add new, and we're looking for all in one WP migration. This is by ServeMask. And they actually just recently added additional support for Oxygen. If we look over here at the development tab on the WordPress repo, you can see that their most recent version has better compatibility with Oxygen Builder. This is also the plugin that we've had the most success with and that our customers report working the best with moving Oxygen sites because of the way it does the process. You can also use plugins like Duplicator or other site migration plugins. The issue with things like Duplicator is that often once you've moved the site, you'll need to replace the old URLs in the database. Whereas with all-in-one WP migration, that's not usually necessary. So let's jump back over to our source site and get that plugin installed. So we're going to click install now and activate. Now note that this plugin is free. All-in-one WP migration is completely free up to a certain size of site. If your site's very large, you'll probably need to pay for an add-on. They also have some paid add-ons that let you utilize things like Dropbox, S3 storage, Google Drive, and unlock some other functionalities like backing up multi-site networks. So now that we have the plugin installed, we're gonna jump over to all-in-one WP migration and click export. And we're gonna export it to a file. And it'll go ahead and go through this process, checking extensions. And then once it's done, it'll give you the option to download the file. So this is going to be a file with a .wpress extension, which is essentially a zip archive that all-in-one WP migration knows how to handle. So we're going to close that out. And then we're going to jump over to our target site. This is just a completely fresh WordPress install, which is all you need to go ahead and import your entire site. So we're going to jump to the dashboard on the target install. And we're going to add that plugin back all in one WP migration. Click install now. Activate that. And now we're ready to go to all in one WP migration and import. And then we'll just drag that WPress file right in. Now, one important note is that before you import your site, you need to make sure that you know what your login credentials are for the source site, because this is gonna overwrite the database on the target site, which means the users that exist on the target site will no longer be there. So it's really important that you make sure you have your credentials and can get back into the site once the import's done. Now, this is a little warning, kind of going over what I just described. It's overwriting everything. Make sure you have a backup if this uh, target site is maybe a production site that you're just uploading changes to. Make sure you back up the current state of it before importing the new site. So we're going to proceed. And now it says we're done. It's been imported. And it gives you some instructions on what you need to do. One, save the permalink structure. Two, resign Oxygen Builder shortcodes, which is that's part of the compatibility changes they just made that it can tell that it's an Oxygen site, so it gives you that instruction. Normally, all we need to do is just these first two steps. So we're going to click Save Permalink Structure, and this is where those uh, original site login credentials come in. So I'm just going to punch those in. 
And all we need to do here is just click Save Changes. And then we're gonna go ahead and perform that second bit of instruction, which is to resign Oxygen's shortcut. So we'll go to Oxygen, Settings, Security, and we are going to go ahead and click Sign All Shortcodes. And make sure you select all the post types that could have Oxygen shortcodes. Basically, this is gonna be anything you design directly with Oxygen. So in our case, posts, not so much because we're putting the post content in the WordPress editor. Uh, but pages, we definitely designed with Oxygen and templates we designed with Oxygen. So those two are checked by default. We also need to check that we made a backup of our site, which obviously we did because we just imported the backup. And then we're gonna click Start Shortcode Signing Process. What this does is it regenerates a special shortcode signature that Oxygen creates for each Oxygen shortcode. This is a security measure that lets Oxygen know it's executing shortcodes that were created properly by Oxygen and didn't come from some other source. So it's very important, once you're done with your migration, save your permalinks, resign your shortcodes. And then if you have this little notice at the top that Oxygen's CSS breakpoints have changed or you need to regenerate the cache, go ahead and click that link and go through that process. Now let's jump to the front end and we'll close this other tab out. And here's our site, fully imported, fully intact. Everything looks great. And what I like to do after a migration is scroll through, make sure it all looks correct. And then I go back to the source site and I'm gonna compare just visually, just scroll through and make sure we're not missing anything. Everything looks correct. The other thing you'll wanna verify is that your links are correct. So if we go up here to the menu, you can see that this is pointing at target.local, not source.local, so it, it updated the URLs for us. And that's something that all-in-one WP migration does kind of automatically, whereas other solutions that we've tested internally don't do so well at replacing those URLs. So we can jump through these pages and everything looks correct. There are other ways to go about migrating oxygen sites and some folks have their own processes that they like, like using duplicator or manually migrating the site, which is fine if you want to go that route and it's easy for you. But for most people, this is going to be the simplest process. And I personally have migrated many oxygen sites using this process to actual real world live servers. And unless there's a server issue of some kind, I've never really had a problem with this. So again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and that's the easiest way to migrate your Oxygen site to a new environment. Thank you very much for watching.